Hey guys, Supersonic Step, and um, welcome to Advanced Techniques, um, Advanced Techniques 2 Mental Game, or Mental. Now, this one, as you can see, it's the same image as what happened. Yeah, the same image, I'm gonna just let computer beat me up. It's the same image of what happened, like, not later, but what happened in the last episode. Now, don't worry about that. What I'm here to talk about is the mental game. Now, most people don't know. Yes, characters can get mind gamed and stuff, and it's all about, um, yeah. When a lot of people talk about mind games, it's basically having your character do something well, not your character, but you effectively getting into your opponent's head, whether it's applying pressure, punishing the other opponent for doing something bad, or just reading on easy movements that anyone can get. Now, a lot of people don't know that there's a lot of ways to attack people mentally, because Smash is like 75% mental, so there's a lot of ways to attack people mentally and make them mess up, but in, not Smash 4, but in um competitive play, it's easy to pressure somebody to get something to do what they don't want to do, but how do you fight that? That's what I'm here to talk about, how do you fight someone who constantly mind games you, and I named this the mental game, which is also an important part of Smash when you're fighting a pro player. Now, whether if you're fighting Zero, Mewtwo King, J Tails, um, Nairo, Nakat, just Six WX, Shofu, anyone, if you're fighting any of them, you know you're not known, but they are, and they're pressuring the hell out of you. What do you do? Now, the first thing I say is to stay extremely confident, even if you like, even if someone did like a reverse Falcon Punch stage spike on you and everyone sized it up, stay calm. Even if you're down like three, even though, even if you're down like 3-0 and a best of seven or like 2-0 and a best of three, 2-0 and a best of five, stay calm and do what you're doing because you, them automatically winning the games means they effectively easily just got into your head and messed you up from inside and you don't want that instead what you want to do is actually just not mind game but what you want to do is show prove that no matter how much they beat the shit out of you you will always stay mentally intact. And then when they see that you're not breaking, that you're remaining composure, they make some mistakes too because they start thinking about it like, hey, he's not breaking down. They make some mistakes. And because you stayed so confident, you read up on those mistakes. Even if you're getting heavily punished for everything you do, stay confident. Don't be scared. Don't like if someone's pulling a comeback on you and the whole crowd is sizing it, just stay confident. Block it out and stay confident. You can win. Because when someone's making a comeback, they start thinking about what's really happening. They're like, oh, damn, I'm about to make a comeback. I'm really about to make a comeback. And when they start thinking about that, they get anxious as shit. And when you're thinking about, oh, hell no, I don't want them to make a comeback on me. You get anxious as shit. So it's really important you stay confident. I'll see you guys in episode three. Um... Well, um, I'll surprise you with what's going to be on episode three. See you guys later.